Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Oak Street is getting a new tenant to replace the shuttered Esquire Theater in the heart of the high-end shopping corridor. Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse is set to debut in the space this December in what the company said would be one of the largest steakhouses in Chicago. They'll keep the Esquire marquee and take up about 23,000 square feet on three floors, which will leave about 10,000 square feet of retail space on the ground floor. The Texas-based chain had been close to deals on Rust Street and on LaSalle in the current site of the Chicago Cut Steakhouse. Real estate executives tell Cranes it's the first time they can recall a major restaurant opening on Oak Street. Well, Motorola Mobility is seeking massive royalties from Apple for using its patented technology in some of its iPhones and iPads. They're demanding as much as two and a quarter percent of sales from the devices, which could have represented as much as a billion dollars last year, according to the Wall Street Journal. The going rate for royalties on technology patents is unclear, and industry analysts told the paper it's difficult to determine a reasonable asking price. Apple is also currently tied up in patent battles with Samsung and HTC over the technology in its mobile devices. The downtown hotel market continued its post-recession growth last year. The average occupancy rate in Chicago rose to 71.7 percent from about 69 percent last year, and the average room rate jumped 5 percent to over $171, this according to Smith Travel Research. It's been a typical recovery pattern for downtown hotels, which have boosted revenue the past couple years by keeping rates relatively low but booking more rooms. Of course, on deck for the market is the arrival of the NATO and G8 summits at McCormick Place in May, which will help book about 10,000 hotel rooms, though some analysts warn of the hassles the summits may create for other business travelers. And the chairman of a Chicago candy staple has passed away. Nello Ferrara, who transformed the Ferrara Pan Candy Company that his father opened in 1908 with the invention of treats like lemon heads and atomic fireballs, died late last week at his River Forest home at the age of 93. Ferrara came up with the idea for atomic fireballs from his military service in the 1950s in post-atom bomb era occupied Japan. Today, the company employs an estimated 800 people and produces about 1 million pounds of candy a year, including at its flagship plant in Forest Park. And that's what's happening in Chicago business today. Follow at Crane Chicago on Twitter for breaking news throughout the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.